Okay, greetings everyone. This is First Centurion 753 with the next episode of Victoria 2, uh, United States of Central America, uh, which include, oh, I think I've gone over this a bunch of times, Guatemala, Honduras, Nicaragua, and Costa Rica, but also now include the state of Johor. I pronounced that right? Which we conquered recently. Sorry, it's been a while since I played, so I'm just trying to go over this stuff myself. Uh, precious metal, very good. Ooh, yeah, more precious metal. Lots of precious metal. And some tropical wood, very good. Uh, I think my next move might be to go after another East Asian target here. Um... They've got not as much precious metal, but there is some tobacco, coffee, and that's tea, and green. So those are some decent ex uh, staple products that we might be able to grab. So what I'm going to do is uh, deploy my clipper squadron here. Oh, they are, like, very weak. Jeez, we need a base out here, don't we? Build a naval base. I should build it right here. How much is that going to cost? Oh, let's build navy. Oh, build naval base. We are building navy. Oh, okay, good. So we can't really make a move until that's reconstructed and the clipper ships are repaired. I could send one of those ships over. Nah, I'll wait. Alright, so we're not going to do anything here. Let's press play. That's a 58. We're not going to do anything till. Maybe I should just disband these troops, but then I don't have any forces here. Oh, man. Everything I had planned is now just frustrated. So, I don't know. Now. Okay. I kind of coughed there for a second. I hope I got, I hope I got it on the mute. All right, so what? I, let's try uh, diplomatic influence because we do have some we can expend here. Uh, increase relations with the United Kingdom, uh, and let's increase relations with the United States. Ooh, they want an alliance, but I don't want an alliance with the United States. I will increase relations with them, but I'm not going for an alliance. We're gonna pass on the alliance because I don't want to get entangled in any of their wars with Mexico. But are they in my sphere? Yes, I believe they are. I'm I'm in their sphere of influence, which is fine because that helps for trade purposes. Um, so double check that. That's on the United States. Experimental Railroad. There it is, yeah. Ooh, look at the British. Alright, new research. Um, Alright, so we're not going to be going to war anytime soon. So, we can either do industry, fertilizer factory, interesting. Mining production, which could be good with the new, oh no, 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 precious metal. That's not there. That would be the mining production. Grain production. Factory throughput. We're not going to build railroads yet because we're going to try to concentrate on constructing our own railroads. Um, I don't need state government, state and government because national focus, I only have one, I only have population for one national focus. Romanticism and prestige, eh. Probably going to go with this one, but let me just check out... Uh, if I want anything here. Furniture factory, paper mill, lumber mill. We don't really have much lumber, I don't think. That's not bad. Diplomatic influence, farming output, and mining output. That's pretty good, actually. Sure. Factory, admin efficiency. Oh! Yeah, okay. And I don't think we're going to do any... Our army's pretty advanced for now, I guess. 
We do want breach reloading rifles because we want to get to colonial negotiations. Because I do want to try to colonize stuff. Which is maybe making an argument for medicine. Because I think medicine is another life rating. Yep, there it is. I'm going to go with education though. Colonial migration. Yeah, let's do that. Because our education is, literacy is pretty low at 10%. Alright, back to business. Now, we've got some money. I think it's time to maybe uh, build some railroads here. Where do we want to build the railroads to start? There we go, infrastructure. Alright, I'd say a railroad line right through here would be good, right? Lots of products that are essential. Tropical wood, timber, fruit, coffee. How much does it cost to build a railroad? 2,000. Are we building railroads anywhere? Two projects. Central American Guatemala Railroad is under construction. Let's go ahead and fully fund this project. Max it out. And investors are paying off some of the input. I'm gonna go ahead and drop another big max out here. There we go. Fully inputted. Why do we need anything else? That should be a go. Let's look at our factories. We've got a factory, glass factory, two glass factories, and a cement factory. Glass factories are important because we're going to want to start uh, developing wine since we have a lot of fruit. Uh, the next investment, which I'm thinking is probably going to be here, because that, that uh, region, I believe, has a lot more population. Although we're not there yet. Oh, we're actually encouraging craftsmen in that region. Uh, we're going to want a winery. Winery cost us 8,000. Oh, wait, and let, uh, let's focus more on constructing these things. There you go. There's a little glitch there, I guess. Constructing a railroad in Guatemala. There we are. Alright, now where to put the rest of the railroads? One there, one there, one there, one there, and one there. Alright, sort of developing our core there, kind of. Good stuff. Those railroads are going to take, looks like, two years. And in that time, we're going to continue to grow our wealth. I think I'm going to want to up the military. Oh, no, maybe not. I'm not upping anything. What happened? I guess that railroad cost us a little bit there. Those railroads. Upper house rearranged. Anarcho liberals gain. I don't like them. They are the worst. Anarcho liberals are the worst, I think. Alright, I think we've maybe balanced it. Oh, looks like that's jumping a little bit. I think the budget's balanced a little bit here. Let's try to up the military expenses to 50%. Actually, what if I do it all the way? Yes. Good. That's cheap, and hopefully that'll grow our soldiers. That's the objective there. Education also needs funding. How much can we give them? Five? All right, there we go. Education spending is now maxed. Administration, we'll probably lower this a little bit. Because it's at 100%, percent with lower it to 80. All right. Crime fighting efficiency 
isn't at its max yet. Hmm. Overall, our budgetary situation looks pretty good, I think, though. Multiple railroads being constructed. Other options would have been to go for Haiti, uh, which is now in America's sphere, so we can't go after them. Venezuela is in uh, England's sphere. Ooh, Colombia is in nobody's sphere of influence. We don't have any soldiers. Interesting. They're allied with uh, Mexico. Hmm. Be nice to grab Panama. I don't know. I'm kind of waiting for this fleet to be restored here so we can grab Brunei and uh, Atje. Atje? I don't know how to pronounce that. Slave state. Because these things are grounded. I mean, maybe I can build some more. But not here. Have to build it over there. And our soldiers, we don't have enough uh, soldiers to support any of our three current brigades. Build six more ships. I don't know, I'm going to try to wait things out a little bit. And maybe build some more railroads. Let's build them in the south here. Or let's drop one up here, get some timber. There we go. How many we got? Four down here? There's four different regions. Let's improve diplomacy with the United Kingdom. You can always be improving diplomacy with other countries too. Who's their biggest threat? France, maybe? Might run into them somewhere. Spain? I kind of want to go to war with Spain. I doubt I'll see any of these other great powers. So I don't think I have to worry about them. Positivism is almost ready. So if that's the case, I'm going to go ahead and move into these industries. I think we'll start with basic chemistry because I like medicine. Medicine's got some interesting uh, population, I think, boosts. Population growth. Yeah, there's a couple of those discoveries that will lead to increased population growth, which could help, should help man our factories. That's one of our biggest concerns, population growth. Let's check out our population. 472. Uh, Honduras is almost at 200. There we go. Pause this for a second. Alright, so basic chemistry I think is the route because then we're going to go for medicine and try to increase our population. And get a colonial, um, what do you call it? Colonial technology, where you can help colonial migration technology. Life rating improvement technology. Alright, so basic chemistry, this is going to take uh, not too long, right? Less than a year. Or about a year. Yeah, less than a year. Alright, that's good. Less than a year about basic chemistry, and then we can move into medicine. Alright, 8,000. Dragoons, we're allowed, we now can do dragoons. Where are the wars? What wars are being fought right now? None. Time of peace. Peace and hopefully prosperity, right? I'm going to add these uh, railroads here. Concentrate on the fruit provinces. And if we have enough, we will get the coffee as well. That's coffee, right? Yes. All right, good. Railroad expansion. So the next move will be, uh, the next big purchase, I think, will be a winery. And we are in 1852. Our army took a big hit. What's our population look like? How are we doing with soldiers? 3,000 soldiers. That's not enough to support one brigade? 
Maybe they have to be supported from where they were recruited. I don't know. No slaves. 336 officers. Our biggest population, portion of population, is farmers. 60% farmers, 28% laborers, 4% artisans, which are producing some export products there. That's good. Um, clergymen. Clergymen are at 1.8%. Uh, we got to get that up to 2 is the optimal number there. That's clergymen right there. No clerks in this country. Craftsmen. 4,000. We need more of those. Many more craftsmen. Craftsmen are only 0.9% of the population. Capitalists, 431. I'd like to get more of those. There's our technology. Very quickly came in. Basic chemistry. Let's go right into medicine. Alright. Fertilizer factory can now be... We're still producing the canned food factory, it looks like. I'm in no rush to produce that, actually. Because we barely have enough craftsmen. For our provinces here, 2,000. Two we need more workers. What's going on in politics? I haven't looked at that. Movements? Suffrage movement. I don't have any soldiers. There's no risk. I'm not going to suppress that. I'm going to let it go. Leaving Sphere, Military Industrial Complex, become Guatemala, not an option. I don't even want to do that anymore. 1852 still. Railroads are being constructed. Very good. Naval base. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Finally. 52. I thought it was 58 of the naval base. Oh, we can build railroads here. Yeah, let's do that. For sure. Railroads are always a good decision. Alright. The Amencia is at 22%. Hopefully these, yes, still growing. 5% there. We have to let them max out their production. Or max out their uh, capacity. But we can march our army to the west coast. To the Straits of Malacca. And let's see here. 27%. Mexico wants an alliance offer. I'm not getting entangled into any alliances. No entangling alliances for the United States of Central America. We are protected by America, which is a big protection. So, and being in their sphere, I believe, benefits us with trade. So, no big moves yet. Sorry, I thought I was going to be actually fighting this, this uh, episode, but we're waiting for this... Uh, these ships to get their strength back. Maybe if I expand the navy budget, will this help? Does that help? Elections. Good lord. Oh, I think it helps. That <laughs> definitely helped. Speed things up. What is it, every month that they turn over? Yes. Alright. So, we're almost ready for a war then, I think. Um, heated debate on trade policy. I am 50 50 on trade policy. I don't really care. I'm gonna go to the middle there. So, I wanted to get some reconnaissance to see what these guys actually have. Go to diplomacy. They have no allies. Their military strength score is four. One for army and soldiers. Oh, now we've got wars popping up. Egypt versus Ottomans, Paraguay. 
More trade policy debate, I don't care. Acquisition of Portuguese Zulu. Alright, uh, I'm going to put an end to the episode here. And in the next episode, I think we're going to begin justifying war uh, in the South Pacific, or in the Southeast Asia again. And uh, I'm going to try to expand our overseas empire. How about that? Thank you for watching, everyone. Hope you enjoyed. Please like the video if you did. And if you would like to see more... What is that? Is that the number of brigades? Ah, oh, crap. <sighs> yeah. All right. So if you'd like to see more, uh, uh, subscribe to the channel. And hit the uh, bell button there for constant updates. And I'll see you guys in the next video.